Hulk, the 2003 video game review. So, this is not exactly my favorite game, so I'm not going to spend forever on it. I don't like doing negative reviews these days. I'll just briefly say the graphics are pretty good. You know, everything I'm about to say is obviously considering the, the time period. You know, the game's 21 years old. But yeah, graphics pretty good. They do a pretty decent job of taking the Ang Lee movie and, you know, you play through some of that and then there's also additional stuff. <clears throat> the I remember the sound work being pretty decent and it's, you know, playing as the Hulk is pretty fun. It is a bit too easy, you know, um, there's not enough really tough enemies. And I felt that it got old kind of quickly, you know, just going around being invincible. I do appreciate the, the fact that you can pick up, you know, yeah, virtually any object, use it as a club, a throwing weapon, or smash it directly over the next enemy's head. The, the sneaking stealth stuff, you know, it's one of those things, stealth is difficult to do well. I think it was especially the camera angles that just made it more annoying than it really had to be. No, the thing I want to focus on here is I think this could absolutely have, have worked. You know, I think the, the problem is that they didn't really go beyond, you know, obviously it is fun and it is, uh, you know, on... The, the surface level of just, you know, this big green monster wreaking a lot of destruction. But, you know, if you go a little deeper, it's this modern day, like, Frankenstein's monster, also some, some like, Wolfman, you know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of thing of losing control of yourself and... Yeah, you know, that actually, I think it could have been really interesting if they did actually make a story where, you know, the, the if, if you spent a lot of the game basically, you know, playing as Bruce Banner, trying to keep the, the tension level, you know, low enough that he doesn't transform into the Hulk. You know, you could have, like, a, a HUD meter, like the suspicion meters of some of the Hitman games. And, you know, yeah, if you, if you end up, you know, going to too high a level of tension, you know, it, it could be a fail state. I think it, it would be especially interesting if, although the, I realize this would be difficult, it's possible a game like this exists. But, you know, if you... Yeah, if the tension reaches too high a level, maybe you lose control and then, you know, you're basically, like, Hulk is moving on his own and you're maybe trying to, you know, either, yeah, maybe maybe you're using WASD to try to direct him away from things that you don't, you know, things that have sentimental value or people you really don't want him to hurt. Or, you know, maybe there's a, a mini-game or, or some kind of, you know, some, some tasks you have, to, some, some puzzles you have to solve or something to bring him back to, to Bruce Banner. You know, some, something like that I think could have been a really amazing, yeah. Um, yeah, right, the, the, yeah, the villains look right from what I know. I, I will admit I haven't read as much Hulk as I would like, and they they chose they made some good choices of who to include as as bosses. The animated cutscenes are are nice, and it, yeah, the levels convey the sense that everyone's out to get you, which fits quite well with how Hulk must perceive the world. And yeah, I think that is. Basic, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Ang Lee's movie. I do think that it deserved better, but this is also one of those cases where 
yeah, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they see Hulk, they just want the the destruction, especially if it's a video game. A lot of people, and you know, it. I don't remember enough about 2003, but I, from what I recall, it was not necessarily the best time for like really complex games. You know, this was the same time that they made the second Deus Ex game, which way over streamlines the the gameplay of the first one you know so th this was a time when a lot of people wanted fairly simplistic games you know based on what sold well um, I mean and I think that is what I have to say but yeah um, I do I definitely do think that it's an interesting game and it could have been much much worse you know I I did enjoy you know I played all the way through it so the the you know the fact that it got old didn't you know fully deter me from but yeah that is it for this one another video game review next week so hope to catch you then